Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my newborn must-haves. Alright, so when I say newborn must-haves, I really mean essentials. Because if you're a first-time parent or a parent who maybe didn't have these things the first go-around but you want them this time, I definitely think you will benefit from everything I show in this video. And for this particular video, the items I'm going to show are mainly baby gear. So I'm not gonna be showing like what lotions and detergents and baby drop vitamins I'm using, but I'm showing you like the products and the big gear items that I think will help get you through at least zero to six months, if not longer. So let's go ahead and dive into number one. Number one is the nested bean. If you've been following along with me and my family over on my Instagram account, then you will know that for the past two months or so, we have been faithfully using the nested bean sleepwear and I have to tell you, it is my favorite hands down. And that's why I'm really excited to tell you that today's video is sponsored by the nested bean. And I just want to say thank you for supporting my channel and believing in us because we really believe in your product. So if you're unfamiliar with nested bean, they've created Zen sleepwear that includes swaddles, sleeping bags, and PJs. And all of their sleepwear mimics your embrace. And by that I just mean it's lightly weighted to gently extend the pressure of our touch, which overall will help your baby fall asleep faster, rest more peacefully, and sleep longer and healthier. So first I'm gonna show you the Zen Swaddle. This is what Margo used when we very first started our journey with the nested bean. This one goes from zero to six months. It is gently weighted on the chest and down the sides to help your baby sleep better, and it also has a grow with me pouch on the inside. So when your baby is like a fresh newborn, they can go inside the little pouch, and then once they get a little bit bigger, like Margo is now, you can just swaddle her down into the main bag. One of my favorite parts about this is that the Velcro is a lot more silent than most Velcros I've ever heard. And yes, it makes a sound, but if I could show you some other Velcro swaddles that we use, especially like the ones on Sebastian, those woke him up every night. So I really love that these aren't loud. The next one, and this is probably the one that you guys have seen all over my Instagram. This is the Zen One. By far my favorite of the three that I'm gonna show you at the moment. And this is the one that Margot has been sleeping soundly in. This one is gently weighted on the chest and on the sides here. We have the pink one, and this one goes from size zero to three and then they have another one that is three to six. So this one has several cool little features. One, it has a two-way zipper, so you can zip down at the top, but then at the bottom, it also has one that you can zip upward, which is great for nighttime changes. The wings on the sides are mesh, which is a nice touch, but what's another cool feature about this is that they can completely be taken off. That way, when your baby is old enough to swaddle with their arms out, you can just use this as a regular sleep sack. For us right now, at night, I unzip it halfway and pull her arms out when I'm feeding her, and then I just zip them back in when she's done. And then on the inside, it has a Velcro secure band, and you can either swaddle them with their arms Velcro down on their sides within this, or just put it around their body or not use it at all. I don't swaddle with her arms down in here because they're up in the wings, but we do secure the band around her belly, and I just think that's another added bit of pressure to make her feel more secure. And the last one I have from Nested Bean is the Zen Sack. Just like the others, this one is weighted on the chest to help the baby feel more secure and mimic our touch which overall helps better sleep. This one goes from 0 to 24 months. It has adjustable snaps here at the top so there's two buttons so if your baby needs just a little bit more slack you can use the top one if not you can just keep it snapped into the bottom snap here and this one has a two-way zipper around the side as well so you can zip down from the top here or all the way around to the bottom. I love that it goes around and not down the center and it has this snap here which is great because it keeps the kids from pulling up the zipper on their own and you can zip from the bottom which is great for those middle of the night changes if you need them and the sack is okay for babies who roll from their belly to their tummy or their tummy to their belly so this will be the next one that Margot uses when Probably when we're done pulling the wings off of that one, we'll just go ahead and transfer her to this. They also offer another piece of sleepwear, which we don't have, but that's called the Zen Footy. It goes from zero to 12 months, and it's perfect for like on-the-go naps for your baby if they're a little bit of a picky sleeper. Again, just like the others, it's lightly weighted on the chest, and it also has a two-way zipper. So if you are interested in any of the nested bean products, 
that you have seen today make sure you check out the link in my description box and just for you all for subscribing and viewing my video nested bean has given me a discount code which is krista15 for 15 percent off of any full priced item on their website and just in case the zen one which is the one that i love the pink one is not available make sure you do check out the swaddle in the sack because they're awesome solutions thank you nested bean for believing in my channel and sponsoring this video now let's get on to number two Number two is the Halo Swivel Bassin Nest. And I love that they call it the Bassin Nest. I think it just kind of sets it apart from regular bassinets. Ours is the Halo Swivel Bassinet from the Essentia collection, not to be confused with the Halo Swivel Bassinet from the Premier collection. And the reason why I'm telling you that there is a difference is because the one that we have is about $50 cheaper than the Premier one, and they are basically the exact same. The only difference is the Premier offers a little panel on the front that has a light involved. Uh, I think it allows the whole thing to vibrate. It has I think a heartbeat sound and some white noise maybe attached to it. I loved that one. That is the one that we used for Sebastian. And this time we opted to go for the other one because I just didn't feel like it was necessary. I just found that we barely ever used that little panel and so I didn't want to pay more for it when we had other solutions for that. But what I love about the Halo Bassinet is one, it has a very, very sturdy base. It's a heavy base. So that thing is not going anywhere. You don't ever have to worry about it tipping. If you have toddlers and a new baby, you don't ever have to worry about them pulling the bassinet over and hurting the baby. I love that this bassinet swivels and pivots. So not only does it do a 360 turn, but it also pivots forward and back backwards which is great for if you have it pushed up against your bed but you need to get out of bed. I personally like to have this bassinet pushed all the way up to the side of my bed and then go over my bed which I have a low bed so I've dropped the bassinet down which is an option or you can lift it up really high and another cool feature about this bassinet is that one of the sides collapses you can turn that feature on and off i like to have it on so that when i need to reach in and pick her up or put her back at night it's easy and i don't have to like reach up and over this bassinet also has a pouch on the side for those things you may need in the middle of the night i personally like to keep her vitamins and things in it so that in the morning i can just give them to her before we get out of bed and it also comes with a mattress and a sheet both of my children use halos and i think by far it is the best one and it's the most cost effective for what you're getting. I know there is a very, very popular bassinet out there called the Snoo and I've heard mixed reviews from all of my friends who've had it. Some of them say they love it and others say they hate it, but I've never heard anyone say they didn't like the Halo and that is why it has made my essentials list. All right, number three is the Owlette. So <laughs> let's discuss the Owlette really quickly. This is not something that I used with my son, but I am loving having it on Margot. I probably would have benefited from it better had I had it with Sebastian, only because I had postpartum depression and anxiety really bad with him. I was constantly just looking over him and watching Watching him sleep. This product really helps take that fear away. So what it is, is a little sock. They give you three sizes in your box, which is great. And you fit it around their foot. It can go on the left or the right. You just have to flip it up or down depending on which foot you put it on. And it monitors not only their sleep, so when they're awake or asleep, but it also monitors their heart rate. If it goes up too high, it'll alert you, or if it drops too far down, it will alert you. And it also alerts you of their oxygen levels and when it's decreasing. So for me, it's like a no brainer. Why not have this? It's a little bit pricey, but to me, if you have the option of knowing if something's going on with your baby and potentially saving its life, it's invaluable. It has a base station that comes with it and it'll alert you if anything's going on from the station and from your cell phone. So if you just keep your phone with you but you walk away, you're fine or you can take the base station with you wherever you go. It will also alert you in a non-threatening or alarming way if the sock comes off of their foot. But if something bad is happening with the baby, it will alert you with like a red alert. I've not heard the red alert before because we've not had that issue. But from what my friends have told me, it is very scary <laughs> to hear. And I've heard some people have mixed reviews on this saying like, oh, I'm a, I'm a nurse and I've seen babies come into the hospital or come into the pediatrician's office because they got a red alert and nothing was wrong. But like I said before, I'd rather get the notification and nothing be wrong than not have a chance to save my baby if it needed it and so to me 
that's what makes the outlet worth it. Number four, and as I'm looking at my list, I'm noticing that the top six things all involve sleep of some sort, but that is because when they are young, sleep is so essential. And so number four is a sound machine. So with Sebastian, we had this really nice sound machine. I loved it so much. We actually still have it. And I tried to buy the same exact one for Margo because we liked it so much. And when we got it, it didn't work. I know there's other brands out there that, you know, go to your cell phone and you can use the app and all of that, but I didn't need all of that. So here is our little sound machine. It's by Let's Fit and I got it off of Amazon and it was not expensive at all. I love the look of this. It's sleek, it's chic, and it doesn't look like a child's toy, which the one that we have for Sebastian's kind of looks like a toy. This one is really cool because not only is it a sound machine, but it's also a nightlight. To make the sound happen, you just press down and it will feel your touch and turn on. And then it only has these three buttons. This particular sound machine has 14 different high fidelity soundtracks. It allows you to set a timer. It has a memory feature. And uh, with these three buttons, you can toggle through sound and each different soundtrack so I definitely recommend this and this gets loud number five is the docketot I personally love the docketot we had one for Sebastian but we didn't get it until he was four four months because it was before we moved into this house and so he was a little late to the docketot game and preferred not to sleep in it but Margot has been in her docketot since the day we brought her home and she loves it we were gifted the docketot deluxe plus and the docketot grand and I have nothing bad to say about them. We don't co-sleep with her. However, I do put it in our bed for like, if she wakes up early in the morning, I'll lay her in that instead of just right there in our bed in between us. But I do know a lot of people who use them for co-sleeping solutions. I do also know that people use them in their bassinets as well. It's not something I've done, so I can't really speak on how that works, but uh, I love using it for, like I said, in the early morning hours or even if at night we're watching a movie and I'm just not ready to have her in the bassinet and I want to keep her near me she'll lay it on there if I'm filming sometimes in the hallway y'all know I like to film in front of my steps I'll lay her down in there I also like to take it downstairs if I need somewhere to lay her while I'm in the kitchen and in the past we have taken the bigger docket top for Sebastian uh, on vacation and the reason why I'm telling you about all the places that we've taken it is that it's just a very good portable baby holder. I don't know how else to explain it, especially if your baby is napping and you need to get stuff done around the house. I've taken it into the loft and folded clothes in there and just had her laying in there with me. I've had people ask me, is it better than the snuggle me? And I've never had the snuggle me, but I have nothing bad to say. And I've never heard anyone also say anything bad about having a dock -a tot For us, it's just a very safe sleep option for supervised naps or for her to just lay in. Sometimes we do tummy time in it. It's just a great piece of baby equipment to have. And they have a lot of really cute patterns. And number six, which is the last one that pertains to sleeping, and that is the baby monitor that we use, which is the Infant Optics, I think it's DXR-8. And I love this monitor. It is the only monitor we've ever used, so I really can't compare it to anything else. Uh, we've been using this monitor since Sebastian was a baby and then now that we have Margo we just bought a second camera for it. The pairing took all of three seconds and now when both babies are sleeping in their designated areas and we want to go downstairs we can see them both as it scans back and forth between both cameras. This monitor has so many features. One of my favorites is that it is full color so when it is bright in the room it will be full color, you can see everything, but if it's dim in the room or nighttime, it goes to night vision, like black and white, like most monitors. You can adjust, obviously, the brightness and the volume. You can also turn a timer on so that the screen will go off. We shut the screen off at night and just have the sound. And then if Sebastian cries, because Margo's in here with us, so we don't need it for her at night. But if we hear him cry, we just press the button and it turns right on and we can see what's going on. You can also have it set a timer for you. Another feature I love about it is that it tells you the temperature in the room for wherever the, the particular camera is. And I believe it will alert you if you set the parameters on if it's too hot in the room or too cold. So it's a great monitor to have. I have no complaints. It's the only one I've ever used, like I said, but totally worth it. Number seven on the essentials list is have a swing or bouncer or both. We have both. I love ours. I know that there are other ones out there. I know that there's other ones that look nicer than ours out there, but I 
since this was our last baby, did not really want to spend a lot of money and buy a new swing. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money and buy a chic looking bouncer either. So we got Graco and Fisher Price and they are working just fine. Our swing is by Graco. I can find and link a similar one below because they don't make our particular one anymore, but they make one just like it for a similar cost. With the swing, I put her in there. Sometimes she'll sleep in there. I know people have mixed feelings about sleeping in swings. I don't mind it and I do it. But I love a swing because it's a nice fun place for your baby to sit while you as I don't know, like stay at home mom especially or a homemaker for you to get stuff done around the house and you know your baby's safe. Our swing is probably one of Margot's favorite things to be in. Ours has a six speed feature so that thing will start swinging but not like dangerous but like it does get up there and she loves it. We had a mama roo for Sebastian and he didn't like it so I didn't want to get it again and spend the money on one that she could potentially not like. So I highly recommend a swing. We used to keep it in the kitchen but I found that it's actually better to have up here in our room and for the kitchen, I bought a bouncer. Our bouncer is by, I believe, Fisher Price, and it's great. It has a vibrate feature, it has white noise, it has lullabies, and when they get a little bit older, they can make it rock back and forth on their own, and I love it. It's a great little piece of equipment to just plop your baby in, snap them, and then you can pick it up and move it around the house with you. My girlfriend told me about it, and she said she used to go hang out with her, her neighbor next door during the day, and she'd put her baby in it and pick the whole thing up and take it to the neighbor's house. I know for sure when we move into our new house, that will probably be the most used item because when we go outside during the day, she can sit in it while her brother plays outside. So, you don't have to get ours. I personally like ours. They are safe, affordable, and quality products. I definitely think that they are an essential, so if you don't get ours, you should get something like it. All right, so moving on to number eight, and that is the Aquascale tub. We used this with Sebastian, and then we carried it on over, and now we're using it with Margot. I love this tub. I know there's other tubs out there. I think um, Four Moms makes one that's very similar to this, but this tub is a three-in-one, so not only is it a bathtub, but it's also a scale, and a thermometer for the bath water, which I love because when you're a new mom especially and you're questioning everything you do, the last thing you wanna be worried about is scolding your baby in a bathtub or freezing them because you're too worried about using the hot water. This tub will tell you when you're at the proper temperature of the water and it will start to tell you as the water gets cooler. It also will give you the baby's weight down to the ounce. So when I used to have breastfeeding struggles with Bash, I would just go sit him in the bathtub and weigh him really quickly so I knew where we were. So you can use it for that and it remembers your baby's weight for simple tracking. This tub is suitable for newborns. Obviously, Margo's been using it, and then we used it for Sebastian up until probably seven or eight months, and then we started just putting him in the regular tub. But I do have friends who've used baby bathtubs up to a year, so this one's perfect because the infant insert part comes out, so it creates more room in the tub for them, and it has an anti-slip pad so they don't slide down. Like many of the other products I'm showing you today, I have nothing bad to say about this. It's the only tub, aside from the tub built into our home that we've ever used and it's been great and I was happy to pass it down to Margo from Sebastian. When I find a solution or a product or something that we love, I'm going to use it and continue to use it. And that's what this tub and many of these things are for me. All right, we're coming down the home stretch. There is only two more. We're on number nine now, and that is the Nose Frida. Let me tell you a little something about the Nose Frida. Before I got pregnant with Sebastian, I saw someone using this and I almost gagged watching it happen because I did not have a baby yet. So the idea of loving something so much that you're willing to suck the snot out of their face, it hadn't come upon me yet, if you know what I mean. But let me tell you something, when you have a baby, you will do anything to, to make that baby feel good, including suck their snot. And that's what this lovely little device is for. Don't worry, this nose Frida comes with a filter and it comes with refills so that you don't have to continue to use the same one and it stops all the gunk from getting into your mouth. But what you do is basically put this tube up your baby's nose and you suck and it gets everything out. I believe it comes with saline drops or you may have to buy them separate. I think it comes with and you just drop the saline drops in their nose and suck it on out. Yeah, it works. I didn't do a cutaway for this one because I figured you guys don't need to see it in action plus we don't need to use it at the moment but it gets all the little gunk out and Margot did catch a cold probably over a month ago at this point and I had to use it on her and 
she hated it but it worked because she was able to breathe after we were done i highly recommend using this product over a bulb syringe because those get mold trapped inside of them uh it's super easy to clean it's by frida baby and frida baby makes great baby products i would definitely check it out i know it sounds gross but if you have a small baby on the way or a small child and you don't have this you're only hurting yourself all right and number 10 on the list are baby carriers we have three baby carriers we have an ergo baby carrier we have a Kalugo baby carrier and we have a boba wrap. The boba wrap, I'm not sure where it is right now, <laughs> um, but it's the soft ones that you have to tie around on your body and then you just insert your baby in them and they can sleep here at your chest. I love that one, but when your baby reaches a certain weight and I'm not sure what weight that is because it probably depends on how strong you are as a person holding the baby, it kind of hurts your back when you start using those and that's when you get into something a little bit more sturdy like these. So the Ergo 360 is one that we used for Sebastian. Actually, this, I think he's still, able to use this one. This goes up crazy high as far as age is concerned. However, we no longer put him in this, but the Ergo has seen a lot of use. I would put him in this thing and schlep him to football games with me. The season before last when I wasn't pregnant, I would carry him in this thing around the mall. I would carry him around this thing everywhere we went. I love the Ergo Baby and this is the 360 so that means you can wear it on the front, you can wear it on the side, and you can wear it on the back and then on the other side and back around to the front again. And I've never worn him on the side or the back just because he always preferred to be in the front and when he was a little baby I had him facing inward toward me and this flap right here comes up to help support their neck and then as they get older you can put it down and turn them facing outward which is how I've always just worn him on the front so he could look out as we walked. Um, I do have friends who have used this and continue to use it with their kids on their back. I think if Bash was ever to ride in it still, we would have to put him on our backs because how ridiculous would he look at almost three years old riding on the front. The Ergo Baby has a ton of support straps. It has a big Velcro that goes around your waist. It has an infant insert for when your baby is really little to help make it even more comfortable for you. It also has a snap that goes across your back to help make it even more secure while you carry the baby. And then there's a ton of different buttons and features, hidden buttons in here to help make this a comfortable carry option. Love the Ergo, it's a little pricey, but worth it, trust me. And like I said, I've taken Bash everywhere in this thing and we have gotten our money back in full on this. Next is my Kalugo carrier, has a lot of the same similar features. This has, instead of Velcro, a big snap that goes around your waist. This also has a snap that goes across your back as well. And then it also has snaps around the side. Your baby fits securely down inside of this part and then you pull these straps to make it tighter or looser. One thing that I love about this is the shoulder straps aren't like regular just snaps like this one or like the Ergo Baby. It's a magnet and then it hooks on. Love that and it doesn't come undone unless you pull this and lift up. Huh, how cool. So yeah, that is an option. It also has this zipper here with a deep pocket. And then inside of the pocket is a hood, which is sun protection for your baby. As you can see, we have the leopard print one. They do have other options. And I will uh, list their website down below if you are interested in trying this. And then the base also has a pocket in the front that has a little area for you to attach your keys or maybe, you know, put a lip gloss or your credit cards or anything down in the bottom. So like I said about pretty much everything on these lists, these items are the essentials. The things that I think will help get you through at least zero to six, if not up to 24 or 30, like a lot of these products for your baby. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the nested bean and use my code Krista15 for a discount if you are interested in that. And make sure you check the links below for any of the items that you see here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that now. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it or found it informative. Tell me in the comments below which items that you have or would love to have. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.